Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm the deliverability lead here at ConvertKit. If you're not sure what deliverability is, um, it's essentially a sender's ability to reach the inbox and not the spam folder. This is Percy and he loves being on camera. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through a Tuesday tip to help you achieve better. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I'm going to give you a tip to achieve better deliverability. One of the biggest questions I get is, well, what determines my deliverability? There are a lot of different factors, but one of the most important factors that you can control is your sender reputation, which is also referred to as your domain reputation or your domain health. Um, essentially, the domain that you use to send out emails carries around its own reputation, kind of like a credit score. Um, that every receiver is going to have its own kind of score for you. So we all want to have a good sender reputation score. Um, and the most important way to do that is to email a really engaged audience who wants to hear from you. Um, essentially, mailbox providers like Gmail, Hotmail, all of those, um, they are going to calculate your reputation based on the way people act with your messages. Things like opens are positive actions, clicks are good, replies are really good. Um, things like marking your message as spam is a negative action. So you wanna try and make sure the people you're emailing are taking the most positive actions possible and minimize those negative actions. Uh, we have a whole blog post on this that I can make sure is attached to this video. Um, but one important way to make sure your audience is engaged is to clean out the subscribers who just become unengaged over time. That just happens naturally, it's okay. Um, I know we all like to see higher numbers in our subscriber count, but at the end of the day, a really important part of deliverability is keeping your list healthy, like taking it to the doctor, giving it a good clean, um, and it's good to just let go of those subscribers who haven't been engaged with you lately. So I'm going to show you a um, thing called an opt-in confirmation email that I've built in my own account and tell you a little bit more about what that does for you. I created a broadcast. So you can see that I have it selected to only email my cold subscribers right here. Um, the way I did that was by clicking add filter, um, and then I just said cold subscribers, add filter, and perfect. It'll calculate that number for you up top. You'll probably be doing these frequently, hopefully. It's the best thing for deliverability is to do this every few months. Um, so here you can just kind of add a nice description letting you know what you were doing and what date you did that on. So next step, of course, is building the email itself. The goal of this email is to reach out to people who are not engaging with your messages, try and re-engage them, but give them a chance to essentially be taken off your list. Um, so for an opt-in confirmation email, they'll need to actually click on this button to confirm that they still wanna receive emails from you. The um, text I've built out here is still wanna receive my emails, uh, very straightforward. Um, I noticed you haven't opened my emails in a while, and I want to be sure I'm not sending you emails that you don't want to receive. If you'd still like to receive my deliverability emails, please confirm by clicking the button below. And then, straightforward, keep me on your list button. Um, one important thing is that I do have it tagging anyone who clicks this button as confirmed opt-in. And I just created that tag right here. So um, if anybody clicks that link, they will now be in this new tag. So I'll be able to see who clicked the link and who wants to stay on my list. As a reminder, I send weekly emails about deliverability that help you reach your subscribers by landing in their inbox and staying out of the spam folder. So obviously you can edit this text to be whatever you need it to be, whatever's true to your voice. Um, but my biggest recommendation would be be straightforward with what you're telling them to do. Um, make it really easy for them to know where they need to click and what that click is going to do. I wouldn't have any more call to actions in this email. So try and keep it really light on links. I would recommend that this is the only link in your email. Um, and just make it sound authentic to you. 
And remember, it's okay if some people don't click to stay on your list. That happens, and at the end of the day, doing this is really going to help with your sender reputation and give you better deliverability down the road. So we will click next step, and you can preview your email. You might want to send yourself a little test to make sure it looks good to you. Um, but other than that, you'll just click send broadcast when you're ready to do it. Um, after you've sent the broadcast, I'd wait three days to a week and then remove anyone who didn't click the button here. Um, so you can easily find that by creating a segment with your cold subscribers and then make sure you're not including anyone who is in your new tag you created called confirmed opt-in or whatever you decide to call it. I hope this helped. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about this or just deliverability in general. I'm always happy to chat. I hope you all have a great Tuesday. Thank you so much for listening. See you later.